We'll get business done. We'll come back with Sean Hayes right after this. It is the Mark and Brian Radio Program. Welcome back in. It is the Mark and Brian Radio Program. And with us to play the game with us today is um, uh, one of my favorite entertainers. Uh, we, you, you all know him from Will and Grace. Uh, just, just an amazing performance through the years of Will and Grace. He's got two major things coming up. And one premieres tonight at 9 on NBC called Grimm. With us on the phone is executive producer Sean Hayes. So, who, who is this? <laughs> Rick Dees. <laughs> it's, it's Mark and Brian, Sean. Wonderful introduction, and thank you for my regular theme song. You're welcome. <laughs> so you just couldn't be happy with actor, successful actor. You had to run off and become uppity with exec producer. Oh yeah, I love the uppity. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, yes, I, I don't. Allow, I don't allow people to look me in the eye. No, <laughs> don't, don't catch his gaze. Uh, let's talk about Grimm again. Premieres tonight at nine o'clock on NBC. Um, this isn't your uh, your your Disney your Disney Grimm, is it? No, 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 not, not at all. It's it's a one hour cop procedural based on the Grimm fairy tales. So what we're saying is the Grimm fairy tales actually happen and are, are really happening, and the Grimm creatures are living among us. And our lead character, uh, Nick Burkhart, he's the only one who can uh, see the creatures for who they are, and he's the only one who can stop them because he's one of the last living descendants of the Brothers Grimm. Um, let me give you an example of what we're speaking of uh, in, a, in an article a uh, newspaper. That, wait, that's the part where you go, wow, that sounds really cool. Wow, that sounds really <laughs> awesome. Oh, no, yeah. Dude, dude okay. I'm, al I'm already hooked because it says, um, oh, okay. while uh, the Disney movie uh, with the singing mice of, uh, what was it, Cinderella. This is what actually happens in the grim version of Cinderella. The two stepsisters take a knife and cut off their toes and heels to shove them into mm -hmm. slippers to make them fit. Wow. So this is... Uh, isn't that awesome? This is the I mean, the thing is, um, th th that's exactly right. I mean, we all grew up on the sugary-coated Disney versions of these stories, but it, when you read them, and there's over 200 grim fairy tales that they're actually really, really gruesome and horrific stories. And we kind of, that's where the idea came from. We're like, why don't we, why is nobody telling these how they were written? Mm. And so we kind of took that idea and ran with it. And we got David Greenwalt and Jim Kauf, who are unbelievable, the best writers in the business. They come from Buffy and Angel and uh, to help us uh, bring this thing to life. Now, Sean, one would have to assume that, uh, first of all, is this an hour? It's it, it, with this conversation. <laughs> The show. Because <laughs> it kind of feels like Does it, it feel like an hour already? What's wrong? What I mean, happened? Is it uh, a... No, uh, no, it's a one-hour cop procedural. Okay, so then with these mythological creatures, there's some CG involved. Do you mind telling us what your budget is per show? Eight million dollars. No, um, what our budget is per show, I don't know if NBC would like me to tell you that. Okay, well, I think it's interesting, the money that is spent. Would it be more than, say, yeah. Three's Company? <laughs> You're close. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, no, sometimes... No, it's, 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 it's pretty expensive. Yeah, it's pricey. But, but you know what? Um, we couldn't ask for more uh, incredible support than NBC. NBC has been amazing to us, and we couldn't obviously have done it without them, and and they continue to be a supporter and collaborator in the best way. We're, we're going to come back to this, but we want to move on to another thing. You were cast as Larry for the upcoming Three Stooges movie. Um, what was that audition uh, process like? And uh, did, uh, how, did you read the script first and you saw something in it. What, what was it? Yeah, no, I mean, you know, actually there was no script. It was a very hush-hush project. And uh, the Fairley brothers, who, you know, they're just the funniest people in the business. Right. They, they are... Um, they have they held you know gruesome auditions for us. I, I auditioned four times. Christy Montopoulos, who plays Mo, auditioned like seven times, and Will Sasso, who plays Curly, auditioned many times. It was it was hard. We had to prove ourselves, and the studio didn't didn't want to just give them away to anybody. So it was very flattering, uh, very grueling process, but very flattering. It's boy scary to jump into a project, even though it is the Fairley Brothers. But when you've not read the script, that's real trust. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, they, they, they kind of held your hand and, and, and walked you through uh, what they needed and what they were looking for. They were very nice to audition for, and obviously they're hilarious guys. So um, it was a very comfortable experience. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see. That, that comes out next year. Uh, and you've wrapped, right? There's no shooting left? Oh, look at you with the lingo. Yeah, we wrapped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, we wrapped the movie a little while ago. So the movie, um, so the movie's in the can. Oh, nice! Look at you go. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the movie's in the can. Um, <laughs> uh, we're doing a slow rollout. <laughs> Uh, um, all right, Sean, uh, we're going to get into the game. Uh, this is a basic trivia game. Uh, if you are listening to the question and you think you might know where the question's going, it's best if you go ahead and chime in because we play this game every day. We're really fast. Your okay, name great. is your buzzer. Okay, great. All right, and then wait till we go. Yell your name, wait till we go to you, and then give the, uh, give the answer. If we go around one time, nobody answers, you're back on the board for an answer. Here is question number one. Starring Jennifer Jason Lee, what was the title of the U.S. remake of Sean. Le Femme? Sean? Um, single white female. No. Of Le Femme Nikita. Le oh, oh, oh. I have no idea. What was the title of the U.S. remake of La Femme Nikita? Mm. I'm Oot. Uh, no, I have no idea. All right, I'll give a hint then. Uh, four words. <laughs> um, first word, point. Kelly? Kelly? Point of no return? Yes, point of no return. Never well, heard of it. I was going to guess that. But you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Question Who number two. Who am I playing with? You play with uh, first five with Kelly, Mark, and Frank, and then and then you play me on the second five with Frank and Mark. Oh, yeah, Frank and Kelly. Hey, Sean, we had dinner in New York. You and your boyfriend. I, I'll never forget it. <laughs> 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 it was it was fun. <laughs> Question number two: What is the herbal extract that comes from the purple cone flower that may reduce the risk of catching a cold? Oh, There's a lot of words yeah. in that. Ted, you need to throw this book away. All right, correct answer: Echinacea. Oh. All right, yeah. All right, here's one. Question number three. What what hard rock band had a hit in the 90s with Cherry Pie? Mark. Sean. Sean? Yeah. White Snake. No. <laughs> Mark? Oh. Uh, warrant. Yeah. Warrant. Oh, warrant. That's right. I got a warrant question, yeah, people. All right, baby. Come on. <laughs> and question number four. Sean, you're all over this one. Which candy invites you to taste the rainbow? Kelly. Sean. Oh, I... I, I Sean? Sean. Sean? Go ahead, Sean. Skittles! Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you a point for that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, very good. Question number five. What band covered the Rolling Stones' Sympathy for the Devil on the soundtrack for Interview with a Vampire? Name of a band. Sympathy for the Devil. Okay, Mark. Mark. Pearl Jam. No. Hmm. Frankie. Kelly. What's the name of the song? Uh, Sympathy for the Devil. They covered the Rolling Stones version for the soundtrack oh, yeah. of Interview uh, with a Vampire. Frankie? I believe it was Guns N' Roses. It was yeah. Guns N' Roses. All right. All right. Now you're playing with... Quiet response. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're playing with Brian Frank Kelly. Question number six. In 1989, the Lakers set an NBA record by sweeping their first three playoff opponents, but were swept in the finals by what team? Brian. Kelly. Brian. Detroit Pistons? It is the Detroit oh. Pistons. Question yeah, seven. This close. <laughs> <laughs> what film earned Richard Attenborough an Oscar for Best Director? Uh, Sean. Sean. Um, Gosford Park? No. Frankie. Frankie. That would be Gandhi. It is Gandhi. Mm -hmm. And well, I never... saw didn't direct Gosford Park. Uh, uh, did he not? No. I don't think so. I don't remember. Where's Martin Sheen called him in the movie Gandhi? Gandhi. Gandhi. <laughs> Question eight. What three-letter word describes a poem in praise of something or someone? Kelly. Kelly. Ode. It is ode. Spelled? O-D-E. Okay. Question nine. <laughs> Put an R on that and you got this segment. <laughs> 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 For which band was Morrissey the lead singer okay. from 80... Sean! Oh, okay. Sean, go. Sean. The Smith! Yeah. Nice! <laughs> Sean's For doing quite well. Yeah, he is. Yeah. All right, oh, quest I got two. question 10. <laughs> what is the name of the wireless device developed by the company Research in Motion? What is the name... Of the wireless device developed, Sean. I mean, I'm just guessing. Is it RIM? No. Research in Motion, RIM. No. W that was developed by the company Research in Motion. 
so that company, Research in Motion, developed what? Uh, oh, Kelly. oh, it's a wireless device. Kelly. The, the, the Nielsen, the box, the, the you know, the... Uh... No. No, okay. <laughs> Brian, did you... No, you didn't say your I, I didn't. I just went, oh, oh. <laughs> um, wait, how many years yeah, ago? Was this... Was well, this... yeah, we do every single morning show. <laughs> it's, it's still around. Okay, Brian. Brian. The pager? No. Oh. It's still around, but it's not as... At one point, it was the dominant device. Now it's been taken over. It's not the pager. It's a... It's a specific name of a device. Hmm. Um, I like what Sean said. You guys do this every morning? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Kelly. Kelly. A GPS? Like a... No. Like a... Your hint here would be there's basically two words, although the two words are put together, and one of the words is a color. Blue, blue tooth. Uh? No. Good guess, though. R- r- red tooth? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> um, the second word could be considered, well, it is fruit. So a color and a fruit. <laughs> Red cherry, cherry pie. Warrant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. This is fun. Was prevalent at one point. It was literally in every businessman's hand. Uh, okay. And now it's been Kelly. taken. Kelly. Oh, a blackberry. Blackberry oh, is correct. Right. Oh, nice. Uh, Sean, I have to tell you, I so thoroughly enjoyed your work, and obviously you were given a Screen Actors Guild Award nomination for your role as Jerry Lewis in Martin and Lewis. Oh. Well, thank you. That's very, very nice of you. I only play funny Jews. <laughs> well, well done. It's been such a, a joy to have you. Grimm th- premieres tonight, 9 a.m. on NBC. Sean is the executive producer. And, of course, we look forward to 2012 when he's Larry in The Three Stooges. Um, Sean, you're always welcome on this program. You were just so much fun. Well, you guys are the best, and I really, really appreciate all the support. And, uh, and any time uh, you want to chit-chat, I, I will make myself available. You guys are the best. Next time you need to come in. I will. Don't force it on me. <laughs> <laughs> We're asking nicely. Uh, Sean, the best to you. Good luck with the show. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. See Talk you, to you soon. All right. And he's also one of the best physical actor, f- comedy, physical comedy actors yeah. out there. Yeah, Will, Will and Gracie was phenomenal. I can't wait for the Three Stooges. Yeah. And I guess classical pianist as well. Oh, I was, damn it, Debbie asked. <laughs> I was supposed to bring that up. He's classically trained pianist. <laughs> oh, I just did. There you go. I think we <laughs> talked about it last time. Did we? Seems we mentioned it. I don't know.